Hey guys, in this video, we're going to take a look at how you can use the navigation bar on the Samsung Galaxy S22 series. First, tap on the home button to go back to the home screen. At the bottom here is the navigation bar. The navigation bar allows you to quickly tap on the home button to return back to the home screen. You can tap on the back key to go back to the previous screen, or you can tap on the recent key to open up recent apps. So in here, to configure how you can use your navigation bar, first swipe down at the top and tap on the settings icon. In settings, go down and tap on displayed. Then we swipe up to go down and tap on navigation bar. Now with the navigation bar, you can choose what type of navigation to use. You can use buttons, which is this one right here. It has buttons at the bottom. Or you can use the swipe gestures Okay, so if you choose swipe gestures, you have different options at the bottom here. And if you select buttons, you will have an option down here at the bottom. You can change the button order. So you can change the button to have the back key sits on the left hand side. Or you can have the back button sits on the right hand side. And again, the back button allows you to go back to the previous screen. Or you can tap on the home button to go back to the home screen, uh, you can tap on the recent key to open up recent menu. With buttons, it's quite easy. All you have to do is just tap on the button and that will allow you to perform certain action. If you go and choose swipe gestures, in here, you can see you can tap on more options. In here, you have two different type of swipe gestures to use. You can swipe from bottom or swipe from sides and bottom. If you select swipe from bottom, you have three different bars at the bottom here. You can swipe up at the center to go back to the home screen. You can swipe on the left hand side to go back to the previous screen. So if I swipe on that, that should allow me to go back to the previous screen. So in here, if I go into displayed, sorry. So if I go into displayed, and if I want to go back to the previous screen, I can swipe up like that. And that will allow me to go back to the previous previous screen. And I can swipe up on my left hand side to open up Wilson's menu and swipe up on my right hand side to go back to the previous screen, which is like the back button. So now if I go into my display again, and if I go down, and tap on navigation bar. I can tap on more options and choose swipe from sides and bottoms. If I select this option, then basically I can still swipe up on the, at the center to go back to the home screen. But for me now to go back to the previous screen, I can swipe in on the side like this. So if I go and open up my menu in here, and if I want to go back to the previous screen, I can swipe in at the bottom, either on my right hand side or my left hand side, and that will allow me to go back to the previous screen. As you can see, when I swipe in, there is a back button. So again, if I swipe in that way, there is also a back button. And that will allow me to swipe back to the previous screen. Now with um, swipe uh, gestures, I can also swipe at the bottom here, that allow me to switch between apps as well. So you can see here, swapping back and forth at the bottom will also allow me to switch between apps. Okay, so if I go back into my menu, so displayed, navigation bar, then in here, if I choose swipe gestures, I can turn on gestures hints. If you turn this one on, or turn it off, it will show or hide a gray bar at the bottom here. And this is the gestures hints. When you turn it on or off, you can hide or show that one. You can also choose to show button to hide keyboard or not. So if you have, if you turn this one on and when you are using a keyboard, so let's say if I open up my note here, so I can bring uh, up the keyboard or I can collapse the keyboard by tapping on the collapse button here and that will hide the keyboard. All right, and down here, I can also turn on block gestures with S Pen. If I tap on that, I can turn it on or off.
to uh, to use an S Pen or not when it is near the bottom here in the navigation bar. And so that is the navigation bar. If you choose uh, buttons, <coughs> then you can also assign uh, what happened when you long press on the home button. By default, when you long press on the home button, it will open up Google Assistant. If you do not like to use Google Assistant, you can assign uh, the long press home button to another function, for example, to open up Bixby Voice, uh, open up Finders, or open up Samsung Internet Explorer. Um, not Explorer, sorry, Samsung Internet Browser. Now, to do that, you can swipe down at the top and tap on the settings icon. Then you go down and tap on apps. Next, you tap on choose default apps and then tap on digital assistant app. And in here, tap on device assistance app. And then in here, you can see by default, it is set to Google, but you can uh, assign it to open up Finder or Firefox or uh, Samsung internet, or you can simply just turn off by selecting none. Now you can see if I touch and hold on the home button now, it will open up Finder. And that's it. That is how you can use the navigation bar on your um, Samsung Galaxy S22 series. Thank you for watching this video. Please subscribe to my channel for more videos.